It wasn't too long ago before I took brood from this mini black carpenter ant colony and gave it to my own colony of mini red and black carpenter ants. Now this colony of mini black carpenter ants doesn't have a queen, cause when I cracked open a stick it was just these elates and some workers. Elates, by the way, is a term used for the ants that have wings. But since my mini carpenter ant colony has a queen, I decided to give them some more brood, aka baby ants. Now thankfully my colony didn't attack the brood, at least for now. They managed to raise the brood into silk spinning larvae which spun their silk cocoons and are now in the pupae form. All I have to do now is wait a couple of weeks for the black carpenter trance to start hatching out. Up until now everything has been peaceful, but there's a chance that if they hatch out, the black carpenter trance could be eaten. This of course would not be the best thing to happen, but if it does, they'll just be fed to the next generation of ants. Speaking of which, the queen ant has been laying loads of eggs recently, and so the next generation is well on its way. But anyways, if you want an update on my mini carpenter ant colony, I suggest that you like this video and follow me.